Well, here he is. He's uh, opening tonight and closing tonight at Laps Unlimited in Old Sacramento. Oh, they make a hot drink here, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Just the kind of thing for the winter weather. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Jay Leno, who has uh, 12 motorcycles. I do have 12 motorcycles, yes. He I even do. has a Harley Davidson uh, T-shirt on. How come you have so many motorcycles? I mean, do you... Well, I don't believe the car has been perfected yet. I'm going to, you know, I think once the automobile is perfected, I may switch to them. Mm -hmm. But you know something? I read something. Uh, some psychologist in Dear Abbey said for a lot of men, a motorcycle is just an extension of the male Macho. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah macho I think thing. the fact that I drive the biggest bike made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you've yes. played Old Sac quite a few times. I, I have. This is like my third time. You like this You like this part of the town, that yeah, Old yeah, Sac yeah. coming Well, yeah, seeing how the club is here, it'd be silly to play another part of town where there was no club that I liked better, <laughs> so I might as well stay here. Well, this is a wonderful club. We always get good crowds here. Uh -huh. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Now, do you do topical material, or do you, uh, you know... Well, you try to do topical things when you can. I was... I noticed tonight there was a thing on about the hostages. I don't know if you saw this. No. Apparently now TWA is giving the government pro uh, problem in that they don't want to give uh, the hostages the bonus miles on the frequent flyer program. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what the outcome of that's going to be. You know, you go Athens to Beirut a couple of times, you're talking a free trip to New York. And that's true, that's true. Now, don't write a letter. It's only a joke. That's right, that's right. And things are going to end very that's nicely, right. very, 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 soon, shortly, very, very, soon. very, very shortly. Uh, you like to appear on the Letterman Show better than the Carson Show, I understand. Well, for me, it's, it's, uh, well, it's not a matter of liking better. I find it's more suited to, my, uh, to the type of thing I like to do. You know, I'm, I, I tend to be a bit more sarcastic, and Dave and I... Oh, I'll tell you why, actually. When I was a kid, I used to watch Johnny Carson and Steve Lawrence, and I used to like it because they, you could see they were friends off stage, you know, and I, that used to be a lot of fun. Uh, the funniest stuff came out of that. So that's what's fun about doing the Letterman show for me. I know David, so I can kind of tease him about his tie or his jacket. You know, you can't say to Johnny Carson, hey, Johnny, nice tie. <laughs> you just feel like, Ooh. <laughs> Also, your yeah. material is always clean. I like. I've seen well, you. I've seen you at Harris. No, I really have. No, it's in good taste. You've... Well, I try. No, it's material that tastes good. Is what it is. No, it's. Yeah. You know, well, well, what I do try. you think about the guys that really, you know, really get pretty raunchy at times? Like even Eddie Murphy is a big hit now. Well, he gets yeah, well, bad, it's not know. a matter of. Well, you see, Eddie's in a different situation. Eddie is a movie star, mm -hmm. and people go to see him. When you're a journeyman comedian and you're working your way up through the ranks. At any point along that way, you can be stopped just by the fact that some people won't come to see you. I mean, I don't fault anybody else for the material they choose to do, mm -hmm. but I find if you're going to work as a comedian, you should be able to work all audiences. You know, I've worked some with some comedians where you literally had to be a gynecologist to follow the act. You know, I, I've sat there and said to myself, now what is that? I don't even know what, I've been married five years, I don't know what that is. And I have to have my wife explain it to me, so I, you know. Anyway, he's here for one night. They call him the Sylvester Stallone of comedy. They did? Does it say that? Yes. <laughs> you, you see the resemblance, don't you, folks? Anyway, he's sold out tonight, but you're, well, they can catch you in San Yeah, I'm sure again. these empty seats will fill in real quickly. Yeah. Yeah, move that crowd in a little bit. Please. I'm sure it'll be packed in a moment or two. That's probably the, the rainy weather or something. Okay, I got a couple bad libs to get out of this. Anyway, he's at Laps on the Midnight. I think a lot of other funny guys coming in. Can you read this there? Okay. We're now going to go to meet their Air Force Base. Oh, we're going to go to the Air Force Base. Good segue. To, to look at something that'll really <laughs> take your breath away. See Come another on. bomb. <laughs>